Okay, here we are with episode 10 of Ed Runner. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Last time the intro... <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> Why did they make an intro for the last episode? <laughs> I'm so tensed up here right now. Let's see it. How does he fit into the car? <laughs> God damn. Perfect. Very perfect. Mm hmm. More perfect. Dude, I'm wondering how the city is still standing if this is like somewhat like a normal day. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this bitch Mm-hmm. 
Maybe he's maybe he wants to kill her too. Get out of the way. She knows too much or something. <clears throat> the beginning of the series. <clears throat> Going through everything again, just empty. And being his old self again. <clears throat> what the fuck? God damn, man. <laughs> oh my god. This looks so ridiculous. <clears throat> Not bad. <laughs> they just bounce around like some rubber balls. Oh, he's going crazy. What the fuck? <clears throat> of course. Dude, all the blood. How is this car even still working, right? After being shot so many times and crashed. Max Tag 2, holy fucking shit. with the OST. Mm-hmm. You fucked it up.
the girl. Oh, Adam Smash. Oh, okay. I mean, how would they know the connection between Lucy and him, right? <sighs> Dude, how will this end, man? I guess half the episode is done. I didn't watch how. Dude. This is a. I think this is the first time that we see Max Tech getting fucked. Okay, Arasaka can give them orders. Interesting. Fuck him up, David. Mm-hmm. With a surprise guest. Mm-hmm, of course. Mm-hmm. Imagine he crashes the whole tower down. But I mean that would kill Lucy. <clears throat> How will it end, dude? <clears throat>
And it's the homing guns. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, yes. <laughs> this is a bad idea. I mean I'm I mean since Adam Smasher is like fully chromed up, right? He can't even take the medicine, right? So he can't take all of that by himself, right? And that song, what the fuck? UFO. Not Becca, man. He's there too. Mm -hmm.
Oh, he's. She taking the helmet off? No. Just absorbing the sun. I don't know what to say. The ending is not what I expected at all. Uh, and yeah. And it sucks.
this feels kind of unfulfilling, I would say. Pretty much everyone died except Falco and Lucy. And then Lucy goes to the moon and sees the memory of David and that's basically it. I don't know. <clears throat> like I said, I've, I've, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I said it. I, I can't see how this can like wrap up, really, in like one episode with every shit that is going on. And I mean, yes, having the cyber skeleton equipped makes sense that it fucks them up, right? But I had some hope that maybe some part of him could be still alive. Like maybe like we saw at the end, he was lying there, right? Uh, and like his eye was gone and his arms were, were basically gone and his legs. But I mean, you could maybe equip some cyber legs, cyber arms, maybe change part of his skull right that is damaged and make like some chrome shit and then he could maybe just live right and then lucy and david could live together happily ever after or some shit i mean that would be a happy ending that i would have liked in some way right um and with adam smasher being at the end like yeah i had fun and you are an interesting construct i thought yeah maybe adam lets him live and like I said, maybe he can get his, his the parts that are gone like exchanged for like some uh, some mecha arms, mecha legs, and some like part of his head gets like repaired or some shit, right? But nope, he gets killed, and oh my god! And at the end, like I said, I, I thought that maybe being on the moon, that maybe Lucy would just take off her helm and then die. But, okay, that didn't happen. She just absorbed the sun. I mean, I like this anime, right? It, it's great. I like it. I like to see more of the cyberpunk universe. But... And, and I said, everything bad that happens to David, that's on him. But it just feels unfulfilling for Lucy, because... Like I said, I, I just want the best for her and everything, and now it, it doesn't really feel like that fulfilling, because sure, she wanted to go to the moon, right, but I guess later down the line she wanted to go to the moon with David, right, and not alone, and now she is on the moon alone. I guess she tries to enjoy it and she absorbs the sun now and tries to enjoy it because in memories of David I guess right because he's like yeah I can't feel the I can't feel the sun and all that stuff but <clears throat> man like I said I, 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 I said I can't see everything happen that everyone go is gonna die and all that stuff and that's what pretty much happened right that's just how the cyberpunk world is like brutal rough unforgiving <clears throat> but man i i feel like you can't even make a season two out of this i mean sure you can make a season two you could go with some other characters but i mean you couldn't make a season two out of this like hey i mean how let's say they take the same characters like lucy and what then uh, Falco's around, but Falco will maybe not be really a part of the season two, um, or maybe he would just be some. He would make an appearance like maybe once, and that's it. Um, but everyone else is basically dead, except Lucy. And what then? 
Is Lucy starting a gang and does some gigs? I, I feel like that would not really work well because if she would do it alone, that would remind her of all that stuff that went down with David and the others, right? Um, so I guess that would be more painful than fulfilling for her, I guess. And what else do you want to do, right? Make a romance out of it, like that maybe Lucy tries to live a happy life and find someone else, but that wouldn't also not really work well, I would say. Um, somehow get David back. Maybe he got shot by Adam Smasher, but didn't really die from it. And then he can maybe maybe be repaired and they can get back together. But what are they going to do now? Start another, like I said, start another gang and do some gigs and all that stuff. Just having a romance with a happy life and all that stuff. I mean, that would be a nice twist, right? Just making making an anime that is like a romance and has not all this action going on in the cyberpunk world. I guess that would be a nice change of pace pace but i mean that's not really what cyberpunk is about right so it could be something interesting but would they ever do something like that no and it wouldn't be really a season two so i i can't even see how they could make a season two out of this which sucks because i like this i like lucy i want to see more of lucy i would have liked that lucy and david would have a happy end but yeah I was wondering, like, could David even beat Adam Smasher because Adam Smasher is this big bad boy, machine, whatever, and is just like so fucking brutal and strong. And if he would have killed Adam Smasher, then my question would have been like, what is even, then, then this must be like, after what happened in Cyberpunk, the game, right? Because Adam Smasher was still alive in that game, so. Or it wouldn't be canon. That could also be a reason, but I mean, yeah, it makes sense that Adam Smasher isn't getting killed. Because he is this, like, crazy being that is just killing everyone and is, like, basically a battle machine and all that shit. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to really say and think and, yeah. I want more, but like I said, I, I feel like they can't there can't be more except you start with like new main characters but i want to see lucy <clears throat> i mean you could maybe make a season two and have a new main character and everything right and then maybe somewhere down the line lucy comes in right and maybe joins or whatever they're doing right but again i can't really see that happening because of everything that happened in this season now because I would imagine that it would just be really painful for Lucy to join another group and do some gigs and, sh and shit, right? Because it would remind her of everything and she would probably think like, dude, this could happen again and then everyone is dead again, right? So, it's so complicated, man. That's why I'm saying I, I can't really see a season 2 happening because of what happened now in this season, everything. And because there's only like, from what we know, Falco is maybe alive and Lucy is alive, but... <clears throat> but I mean, if you remember, remember the game, that might be spoiler, so I hold my hand up. And when I'm done, I take my hand down, where the spoiler ends. But yeah, um, the ending of the game, from what I know... Every single ending was a bad ending. I think there wasn't a, f a single ending that was like completely fulfilling and good. Every ending had like some drawbacks that like either you die immediately or whatever I think or you die somewhere down the line a few months after but nothing was like completely happy ending so it's basically the same here so makes sense. But yeah it's safe again but yeah I don't know what else to say. I really hope for a happy ending with David and Lucy coming out of this and go to the moon and done. 
This is something I don't like about animes often is that you have these stories, right? And then the end is so short. Like, even if this would have gotten a happy end, then all we would have gotten is Lucy and Falco get away, somehow David gets out, and then if it would have been a true happy ending, which, which it isn't, obviously, and then David would have gotten out somehow, and then you see how both of them get to the moon, and you see them on the moon, and end. That would be the end, like, one minute tops or something. That's always, that's always the sad part. You have, like, 10, 12, 13, 20, hundreds of episodes, and then the ending is, like, a few minutes, like one or two minutes, and then it's over. Basically, everything is wrapped up, ended. I always that's like Bunny Girl Senpai, right? It's the same. You have like the whole twelve episodes or whatever, and then the ending. You want some nice conclusive ending, where you see maybe something like how how it goes afterwards, right? But it's just like a minute ending, and then it's done. That's always sad. I I would like like. I would like like a whole episode that shows you how they live happily ever after or something like that, right? Or like more, more than just like a minute or something, right? That's always the sad part of it. But I mean, some stories are still going on, right? I get it. But some that are like very, con like for example, also Darling in the Franks, anime original. So the, an the anime was the original, the end was the end. You get everything, like... 20 plus episodes, 24 or whatever. Ending be like one minute or so or two minutes or whatever. <laughs> Very short compared to everything else. But yeah, I mean, that's how it is. And that's not the topic right now. But yeah, like I said, I don't know what else to say. I guess I said everything. Um, it's kind of unfortunate for me personally, I would say. <clears throat> like I said, I see, I, I I, thought that there will be shit going down. People will die, etc, etc, etc. But I hope that maybe somehow... Someone will be still alive, right? Will get out of it. Not dying. And all that stuff. So, yeah. It's a bit unfortunate that that's how it ends now. With David dead, Lucy alone, basically, on the moon. Yeah, but, okay. Um, If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.